Coach. We are pleased, as always, to be bringing you coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it, this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Tennessee Titans and the Indianapolis Colts. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. to speak of call it a one yard gain up to the 26 well we saw him there trying to get it to the outside trying to get to the perimeter but not a whole lot of room there but there's got to be one positive to that if you keep moving laterally creases tend to develop as the game moves on and they can run it back inside later on second and nine Prescott they'll find Paris Campbell that's complete And they'll look to avoid an early three and out here on third and four. And we got to get to the ball, team. We got to get to the ball. Let's keep moving. 51, Mike. Mike, 51. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. They've got his man complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. That's a first down and then some. A 32-yard pickup. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. They'll run it here. This is Marlon Mack. And he'll get three down to the 34-yard line. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. On second down, it's Hines. And he'll get a little over two, maybe a full three down to the 32-yard line. Well, they had that one sniffed out. Excellent run blitz. Stopped that one for a short gain. What makes a good run blitz a good run blitz? The ability to stay on task, to follow up your assignment, go to the gap you're supposed to cover, and not be deterred by anything else. Here we go, 46. 46. Prescott from the gun on third. And Pascal's got it. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Give him six yards, and they do convert on third. Nice job keeping that opening drive alive, and they're in plus territory, that part of the field where you really want to convert on third down. They did. Big time pickup for them, and now... I think the aggressive play callers think to themselves, this part of the field, I take my shot at the end zone. Because the closer you get to the end zone, the field can, gets condensed. Makes it a lot tougher to run those routes. You still got a chance to actually run past people right now. Take your shot at the end zone early in the down and distance count. 47. Mike 51, Mike 51. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Second and five now. Prescott, and he takes this one in for a Colts touchdown. Juju Smith-Schuster, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Colts take it right down and score on the opening drive. Extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This one fielded at the five. Weaving through traffic, and now he's free. 
Touchdown, Titans! He goes 95 yards to the house on the kick return as his guys are on the board here in this first quarter. Well, there you go. They gave up a score to start the game, and as quick as they could get it back, they did on the return. And people talk about this all the time, whether you're coaching it, whether you're trying to work on it, whether you're just trying to put in the minds of your players. Attack back as fast as you can after giving up a score. No quicker way than on a kick return. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went, no adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. Now a chance to make that encroachment penalty really hurt. First and five. Now a carry from Mack. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Call it a gain of five as they move the sticks. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. And the ball is knocked out. Wow, that ball gets knocked free. But a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. From the 45 on second down, Prescott. And eventually taken down here. Great coverage downfield. Jayon Brown able to take him down. It's a loss of three. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. That's complete to Hines out of the backfield. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans 30. And at his size, he's a smaller back. You can get him to football. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit. But get him out in the open field into some space. That plays to his strengths the best and keeps him out of it where all the big boys are, you know, make him make someone miss in the open field. These two teams all tied after one. Prescott going to come up first and ten, and he's completed all seven of his passes thus far. Covered beautifully. Their defenders stayed home and they'll stop him behind the line. So a loss of five, and it'll be second down. And again, it's Prescott. Ebron caught left side. And he's able to work it here to the eight yard line. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. Let's go, D. Right here, right here, guys. Mike 51. Mike 51. Third and short yardage. Prescott. He'll check this down to Hines. And he's able to pick up the first before he's brought down inside the five at the four. Give him a gain of four, able to convert, and that sets up first and goal now. First and goal at the four-yard line. You're not ready. You're not ready. 
They'll run here with Mack. And he goes backwards on this one. Losing yardage to the seven. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Now from the seven, here's second and goal. Now Prescott. Oh, Prescott stripped. But I believe the Colts were able to fall on this when they were, and so possession will remain with Indy. On plays like this when the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back because this is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away. And it's intercepted at the goal line. A great read, and it's picked off. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, they thought they were going to break the tie. The defense had other plans. They were already in field goal range, but boom, an interception. I don't know if this was a case of being a little bit too greedy with the opportunity to put points on the board, but give credit to the guys on the defensive side. Hung in there, battled, and made a key play. Now a run on first down is not going to get off the ground as they will get him behind the line of scrimmage for a loss of three. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. King now operating from the gun. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. And it is true. You can draft the fastest. You can draft the most athletic guys. But if they don't know the art of positioning, sometimes it's all for naught. In this case, in the right spot, he'll force the incompletion. Had yeah, his hands on it for a second. Would have been a tough catch, though. Falls incomplete. But we're used to seeing the guy that you consider the number one receiver double covered. But how about this guy? He's double covered and finds a way to make the play for a first down. That's how you increase your Madden rating, right? No doubt about that at all. And you know something? I will hear about that from him soon. And the hole closes quickly there. He gets maybe a couple up to the 38. A short gain of just over two yards as the first half clock dips inside of three minutes. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Now a give, right side. Dobbins gets past one man. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Well, that was a unit that understood exactly where the first down marker was, handed it to their guy who could run it, created some space, and he got there. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. All knotted up at seven. A first down carry for Henry. And they'll get this just to the 47. One-yard gain. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. They'll try the left side. Dobbins, back-to-back one-yard runs here, so that leaves him with a third down and eight. Well, that didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just darted in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of see ball, get ball. On third down, King. Now this is intercepted. He was trying to get it to Davis. Picked off at the 39. And a huge return as he'll take this one all the way down inside the 30-yard line. Well, CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on the job training. So he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. And throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. Here's Prescott. Nowhere to turn here, and he's going to go down. Back at about the 37-yard line. The sack by Harold Landry, the former Boston College Eagle. 
Third and long for Prescott. That's into the hands of Pascal. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. And they're able to convert on third with a solid gain of 23. First down. First and 10 at the 14-yard line. So a touchdown apiece. That's what we have to show at halftime as they head to the locker room. 7-7 seven, seven our score. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, set and ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece. 7-7 seven, seven our score. This is taken at his four. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. They have a chance to break our tie here as we get a look at the first drive of quarter three. And it's such a tone setter, isn't it? Because both sides trying to seize momentum to begin the half. What do they have dialed up that will give them an advantage to move the ball downfield? Let's find out what they have dialed up. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Now a give right side. Dobbins. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. The Titans get 14 yards there and move the chains as well. First down, Tennessee. Here's King throwing on first down. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Now after the holding call, here's second and 20. They get two yards back, but they're going to need a lot more than that here on third down. Not your conventional play call, but that's okay. You probe the defense a little bit with some of everything in your playbook. That way they have to account for everything as the game moves on. To throw is King, throwing on third and long. And that's caught by Smith. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts' 25-yard line. It's got to the point when we see guys like that make that type of a catch. Not fair goes through my brain. That size, that speed, and now they're acting like wide receivers, too. Yeah, yeah tight end, one-handed catches. They're kind of like what? Derrick Henry all alone. And he will score. Touchdown, Titans. Derrick Henry, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Titans have taken the lead. Extra point put through by Suckup, and that makes the score 14 to 7. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. And this game was all square at halftime, but now they find themselves down seven following the opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter. And they need to take a good, relaxing, deep breath, don't you think? Because right now they might start to feel like they've got to play catch up here and start matching them point for point. But it's still too early to get there. They can still run their offense. Plenty of time to get back in this game. An incomplete pass leads to second and ten from the 25. Prescott flushed out right, and he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. They brought the blitz that time, and I thought they were going to get to him, but instead, he flipped it on its ear and ended up picking up positive yardage. I thought he was dead to rights, but you are exactly correct, sir. Able to turn that into a positive gain. Now this throw caught left side. 
Well, we always hear about the connections some quarterbacks have with certain receivers. I think this guy has a connection with just about everyone. Didn't mind throwing it in there against double coverage to him. Shows some confidence, supreme confidence. Big time confidence that he would make the play for him, and he did. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. We have not seen a whole lot of wide open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive, knowing each other's moves all game long. And they've been on the spot just about every time. And they've held them in check on the scoreboard. On second down, Prescott again. Flush to his right. To the right side to Eric Ebron. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans' 39. So again from the 39, this time from the other side of the field. Here's first and 10. They run with Hines. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice solid game. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. From the 31, Prescott escaping the pressure right. Campbell making the catch. 16 yards to pick up there. The Colts have a first down. On first down, Hines. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. Play number nine on the drive coming up, and they need nine yards on third down. Prescott from the gun. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Jeffrey Simmons drops him for a four-yard loss there, and that brings up fourth down. And his kick here is good. And they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14-10. So the field goal there caps what winds up to be an 11-play drive. Well, partner, that's a lot of offense to run there to only get three points. So I just wonder, are they going to recycle those plays because they were successful in getting three? Or do you go to another section of the playbook trying to find ones that get you into the end zone and get you six? The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked. But you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. They keep it on the ground. This time it's Henry. They'll only get a couple up to about the 30. All right, that's a decent game there, but it hasn't been his best game overall. So I wonder what the mindset is of his team. Do they want him to handle the football and try and close this game out? Or are they going to make an alternative plan and maybe go in a different direction? Uh, I think they need him, and this is his time to shine. The open man is Smith. That one goes for 36 yards. I know we love our jobs, and pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about. The big plays, let's face it, that's what we absolutely live for. How about that one? That was great, and what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired out. That's a big game. Now that sends them two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. Second down now. Dobbins. 
That one's good for 35 yards on the ground and a first down. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower, that front seven reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing. Slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. Trying to punch it in with Henry. And he will take this one in for a Titans touchdown. Derrick Henry with his second touchdown of the game, fourth of the year. And the Titans are able to extend their lead. Extra point up and good by Sucko. And that makes it a 21-10 game. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This will be fielded at the 6. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal and way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. Prescott now six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and him. Prescott to throw it. Flushed out right. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. So operating from Tennessee territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 32-yard line. Now Prescott. He'll find Smith-Schuster, that's complete. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. A 14-yard gain for Indianapolis and also move the sticks. They'll run on first down. It's Hines. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Naeem Hines, his sixth touchdown of the season as his guys are back within a single score. Prescott now. And this is caught. They got it. And that could be an important two points. It gets him back within a field goal. So just a three-point game now as they send this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. A little less than four minutes remaining, and the margin for error is small with this slim lead. Operate within your four-minute offense here, Charles? Definitely. Remember, the four-minute offense doesn't always court. Derrick Henry all alone. And oh, so close as he takes it all the way to the two-yard line. It's a big run there by Henry. 73 yards. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. They'll try to run this one in. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. It's a loss of a yard there and it's second down. So they're backed up to the three-yard line, second and goal. They'll keep it on the ground. Dobbins, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. The second down play results in a loss of two yards. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Here's Henry. Shrugs the tackle. Nice. And he goes backwards on this one. Losing yardage to the seven. That'll back him up two yards and also bring up fourth. A two-yard loss on the play brings up fourth and goal. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So the Titans in possession of the football here as we get your reset. 
So they come up on an interesting decision here on fourth and goal. And into the end zone for a Tennessee touchdown. A great play there. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Titans are able to extend their lead. Important extra point up and through. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This one fielded at the five. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Colts take over at first and 10 at their own 22-yard line. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got to the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. Throwing. Prescott. Open man completes it to Smith-Schuster. And he is out of bounds right around the 34. That one for Indianapolis resulting in 15 yards and a fresh set of downs. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Let's get off the field. Let's get off the field. Prescott. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off at the 45. Obviously disappointing, but you had to go for broke here, down two scores. So that forced you to make some throws you definitely wouldn't want to make. And I think this interception is going to pretty much write an end to this one. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Second and long, but you got to figure this almost certainly another run. And he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. Now the Colts going to burn the second of their timeouts as they stop it here with a minute seven remaining. King to throw on third down. And he's got it. Got his man on the end route. Complete. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. Now the Colts will use their third and final timeout as they get it with under a minute to go now in the football game. On first down, Dobbins. Tyquan Lewis makes the stop. Charles, why didn't they just take the knee there? You're asking the question that I'm asking as well because we've seen a lot of football where coaches decide maybe they get a little greedy. I don't know if they're doing it for stats or for what reason. We've seen it happen in college. And how about in the NFL? The miracle of the Meadowlands. All they had to do was take a knee and the game was over. The Giants ran it one more time. Ball popped free. Philadelphia picks it up and wins the game. What year was that? 1978. I think it was in November. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. Again, it's Henry. And he'll get this only to about the 38 as they stop him a few yards shy of the line to gain. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. Back to throw. King. He'll fire a desperation throw for the end zone. And that is incomplete. The Titans try it, but ultimately they fail on fourth down. And the Colts are going to take over with a football. The 
the Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. They might be thinking this is close to a lost cause here. Got to play it out. What do they need to do? Well, they have a thought process in mind already, but they can't get ahead of themselves. They know that they need to score quickly. Yeah, two score game. Onside kick and get the ball back and then score again, but they can't worry about the last two points. <laughs> the only thing that matters is scoring quickly, then they'll take it from there. That's good. Colts. First down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. So this one, a Tennessee Titan victory. And they were buoyed, Charles, by a big second half to put this one on ice. And I know a lot of people watching this one were thinking to themselves, I'll bet halftime was really interesting. Probably took the paint off the walls with some of the words that were said. <laughs> But I get the sense it was much more of the adjustments they made. They came in with a game plan that we saw that didn't work in the first half. They made the adjustments necessary, went away from that, and then they got it together, got a spark, and then took off. It's really nice to watch in the second half. So for the Titans, they move a step closer to 500 as their record improves to 2-3. and three. And they'll get another road test next week as they head to Houston to take on the Texans. Meanwhile, for the Colts, they'll fall back to 500 at 2-2. Two and two, And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. I'm Brandon Gordon. Certainly have to thank Charles Davis, my broadcast partner, and our entire crew. We'll catch you next time right here. It's the NFL on EA Sports.